Welcome to Philosophy Bible, the channel where we discuss different philosophical ideas. My name is George, and today I wanted to go through my top 10 metaphysical movies. Now, by metaphysical movies, I'm referring to films that really deal with metaphysical themes and concepts as part of the story and plot. And by metaphysical, I'm in fact referring to the philosophical subject of metaphysics. For those of you who are unaware, metaphysics is the discussion of reality that is beyond physics. It is metaphysics, a really out there, weird and wonderful branch of philosophy. Initially, metaphysics is quite a tricky topic to define. I would say, at its core, metaphysics is the study of the fundamental aspects of reality itself. It encompasses topics around space and time, being and existence, identity and change, and causation. But there are wider elements of philosophy that also fall into this metaphysical space, subjects around free will and determinism, modality, philosophy of mind, and philosophy of perception all contain very profound and heavy metaphysical arguments. Now, for the lovers of philosophy out there, we all like watching deep, thought-provoking movies, and there is no subject in philosophy that is deeper and more thought-provoking than metaphysics. As such, I bring to you Philosophy Vibe's Top 10 Metaphysical Movies list. What determines if a film has made this list and where it ranks on the list is of course down to how deep and metaphysical the movie is, but also how great the film is. How well has it been written and directed? How well was the story told? How amazing are the visuals? How amazing are the actors? Etc, etc. Now, this is subjective, but I really do think this is an exceptional list of movies that all philosophers must make time for. These movies are powerful and really stay with the audience. As a rule, however, I'm not going to include any of the films that I already included in my top 10 philosophical films list. So if you watch this and feel certain films are missing, make sure you check out that video as I don't want to double up. There'll be a link to that video in the description. I'm going to go through the list and give a brief explanation of the movie and why I've chosen it, but I won't give any spoilers. I will explain aspects of the plot and the metaphysical themes attached, but I won't ruin the films for you. So if you haven't seen any of these films, you can watch this video first, then go and check out the films. So then, let's begin. Starting at number 10, we have Arrival. Released in 2016, this is probably one of the best alien-focused films you will ever watch and really leans into some profound metaphysical themes in such an exceptional way. The film starts with the arrival of 12 alien spaceships landing in various parts of the world. National governments and militaries begin panicking because of this arrival, not knowing why this contact has been made. In the US, linguist Louise Banks and physicist Ian Donnelly are recruited to study these spaceships, eventually meeting the aliens inside. Banks and Donnelly use their top skills to try to understand, communicate and learn from these extraterrestrials. From these encounters, we are met with the most fascinating discoveries of our perception and reality. This really is a marvellous film. Its portrayal of an alien arrival is so accurate, but the aliens are more than beings from another planet, but come with a profound story attached. The metaphysical themes in this movie are around the philosophy of time, causation and determinism. Really intriguing film, definitely worth a watch. In at number 9, we have Blade Runner. This 1982 cult classic starring Harrison Ford gives us a fabulous blend of sci-fi action with deep metaphysical undertones. Based on the novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, the film is about a dystopian future where humans have developed humanoid robots to serve them on colonised planets. However, when a group of these androids escape one of the colonies and become fugitives on Earth, police officer Rick Deckard is recruited to hunt them down and destroy them. A really thrilling action-packed movie that still leaves the viewer with burning philosophical questions. The metaphysical themes of this movie are all centred around the philosophy of mind, as well as AI and consciousness. A really entertaining watch, but still provokes some great questions that feel more relevant today than ever before. In at number 8, we have Sphere. An exceptional deep sea movie starring Dustin Hoffman, Samuel Jackson and Sharon Stone. This is a chilling movie that really sticks in your mind. A team of scientists are sent to the floor of the Pacific Ocean to study what is presumed to be an alien spaceship that crashed over 300 years ago. Upon examination, the team realise that this is not in fact an alien aircraft, but a human creation with levels of technology far superior to anything they're aware of. In addition, the team also discover a massive, perfect-shaped, golden-looking sphere. 
As the team start to try and discover what exactly this sphere is and how and why it came to be, some horrific things start happening. I really enjoyed this film when I saw it. I found myself thinking about it a lot. It's chilling and spooky, but so deep as well, literally and metaphorically. Now, I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but I have included this on the list because I would say the film deals with the metaphysical theme of modal realism in such a great way. But if I say any more, I may spoil the film, so go and watch this film, you'll really enjoy it. Moving on to number seven, we have Lucy. This is a fabulous movie. And in fact, I was quite surprised and really impressed with how metaphysical this film got. Released in 2014 starring Scarlett Johansson, the film follows her character Lucy, who, through some unfortunate events, ends up inducing a powerful drug that allows humans to access 100% of their brain. As the drug makes its way through Lucy's body, her brain gradually starts rising in power, and throughout the movie, we see the different levels of brain activity increasing, and how this interacts with reality, what can be perceived, and the knowledge of reality that comes with it. I absolutely love the visuals of this movie and the climatic scene is one of the deepest, most metaphysical moments on screen you will ever see and I think it was executed brilliantly. The metaphysical themes in this film include fourth dimensionalism and the philosophy of time, causation, as well as themes around the philosophy of mind and the philosophy of perception. I know there's been criticism around the whole humans only use 10% of their brain myth, but that aside, I just loved how profound this film went and it's all worth it for that climatic scene, so make sure you watch this. On to number six and we have 2001 A Space Odyssey. Here is another cult classic. This 1968 film is one of the greatest movies of all time, an absolute pioneer in the genre of science fiction. This movie is broken into different parts, but each add to a great viewing experience. The movie starts in a prehistoric era, and we follow a tribe of apes that find what appears to be an alien monolith. The movie then cuts to the future, where humans are on a space mission to learn more about a monolith discovered buried on a faraway planet. We then go forward another 18 months to another group of astronauts along with their AI computer program and operational system HAL. This group are on their way to a mission on Jupiter. Certain things start going wrong for the team and the weird metaphysical aspects of deep space start to unveil. Now, what I find so amazing about this movie is that it was made in the 60s, which I just find incredible, as the movie totally holds up even by today's standards. The visuals are incredible, the suspense building is masterful, the accuracy of space exploration is uncanny, and I was just watching this movie so impressed, given it was made so long ago. In addition, the story is just amazing. It's so deep, with room for your own theories and takes. The metaphysical themes in this movie include fourth dimensionalism and the philosophy of time, as well as themes around AI and consciousness and the philosophy of mind. An absolute classic movie that will truly live on, definitely one of the greats for philosophers and those interested in metaphysics. Okay, so now we're moving into the top half of the list. In at number five, we have Bandersnatch. So, those of you that follow this channel know I absolutely love the Black Mirror series, and when I discovered a Black Mirror movie was being released, I was so excited, and it totally lived up to my expectations. This movie I find is so original and groundbreaking, as it's in fact an interactive film. The general story is around the character Stefan Butler, who is a programmer developing an interactive video game, but begins questioning his reality and his choices. The movie, however, allows the audience to guide the story. We follow Stefan and the situations he finds himself in, but when faced with certain choices, sometimes small and trivial, sometimes major moral choices, we, as the audience, decide what happens. We make the choices for the character, we guide the story and what he does, we are the ones in control. This was such an epic experience because you are fully immersed in this film. You are completely part of it, which I found so unique and so interesting. The central theme of this movie is around free will and determinism and having that theme on an interactive film where the characters are controlled by you was so brilliantly done. This is a great film for philosophers and you really start pondering the metaphysical aspects of free will and determinism. I love this film and I love the whole experience. Bandersnatch is definitely one for the lovers of metaphysics. In at number four we have The Matrix Reloaded. 
Okay, so I know I said I didn't want to include any films that were on my top 10 philosophical movies list. And for those of you who've watched that video, you will know that The Matrix was included on that list. But I couldn't do a metaphysical movies list without The Matrix. So I decided to put Matrix Reloaded. Technically, technically, this is a different movie. So I did let it go. Did I cheat? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. But anyway, The Matrix Reloaded is the 2003 sequel to The Matrix starring Keanu Reeves. Picking up six months after the events of The Matrix, we follow Neo, Trinity and Morpheus who have now freed more and more people from The Matrix. For those of you who are unaware, The Matrix is a computer generated simulation that machines have plugged humans into to use their brain power as energy for themselves. As more humans are being freed, they are building their city of Zion in the real world. However, as this city is growing, it is now under threat of obliteration by the machines. Now whilst this isn't as good as the first Matrix, it is still a great watch, really action packed with a great story and of course the deep metaphysical theme still running very strong. I would say the main theme of this movie is around free will, but of course we still have the themes around the philosophy of mind, philosophy of perception, simulation theory and AI and consciousness. If you like The Matrix, you will definitely like The Matrix Reloaded. And personally, I think this movie has one of the greatest scenes of the whole trilogy, a specific interaction Neo has with someone towards the end of the film, but I don't want to give too much away. So, obviously, go and watch The Matrix, and then go and watch The Matrix Reloaded, another great metaphysical movie. So now we're in the amazing section as we enter the top three. Here we go, who gets the bronze? In at number three, we have The Butterfly Effect. Now, I absolutely love this movie. I really, really did. This stuck in my head for so long after I watched it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was so impressed. This 2004 sci-fi thriller starring Ashton Kutcher in what I would say is Kutcher's best role in acting. The movie follows the child Evan, who keeps on experiencing these blackouts. Undoubtedly, these cause Evan a lot of suffering and stress. In addition, Evan lived through some horrible and traumatic experiences growing up. The movie then flashes forward to Evan now in his 20s at college, delighted by the fact he has not had a blackout for years. As the story progresses, Evan discovers that he has the ability to go back in time and effectively take over the mind of himself as a child and be in control during the periods he was blacking out. With this ability, Evan tries to correct the past. Knowing what he knows, he tries to fix some of the horrible events of his childhood. However, each action changed in the past would go on to have significant impact on the future. Now, this film is not well received by critics and I really don't understand why. I thought it was marvellous, so I may be in the minority here, but I 100% recommend this movie. The metaphysical themes of this movie include the philosophy of time, causation and personal identity. I get there are some plot holes to be found in this movie, but all films that deal with time travel have plot holes. Personally, I think this movie executed how travelling back in time would look in the most believable way. In addition, this is a highly emotional film, a real rollercoaster in terms of story and experience. There are alternate endings, but personally, the director's cut is the most powerful and will really stick in your mind. So, go and watch this movie, get the director's cut ending, this is a great metaphysical film, forget what the critics say. Now, moving on to second place, who gets the silver? In at number two, we have Inception. This 2010 masterpiece has a well-deserved spot at number two on this list. Brilliantly directed with great visuals, this is an all-time classic in sci-fi metaphysics. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio, the film follows DiCaprio's character and his team who have the technology to enter and infiltrate people's dreams. DiCaprio uses this technology to steal information from people, using this for corporate espionage. DiCaprio is hired by a high-profile businessman to infiltrate the dreams of the son of his recently deceased competitor. The plan is to plant the idea of destroying his father's business empire. DiCaprio and the team agree to the job to incept an idea in the unconscious mind of this man. However, this turns out to be a very dangerous and surreal mission. This film blends the metaphysical with the action packed in the perfect way. We have a top cast of actors in addition to the marvellous directing of Christopher Nolan and the visuals and imagery are so amazing, it pulls off that dream feel so well, you will be absolutely mesmerised. The metaphysical themes in this film are all around the philosophy of mind and the philosophy of perception. A superb film, one of sci-fi's all-time greats and a real thought-provoking film, definitely one you should watch.
The films on this list, like Inception, only improve when viewed again years later. In the same way, a piece of traditional art is appreciated even more as time goes on, and its value grows. In fact, some traditional art, paint and canvas that is, has become so valuable it has the potential to grow and protect our own wealth even under extreme conditions. Like when the invasion of Ukraine and rising inflation triggered a global market crash, the art market rebounded and surpassed its pre-pandemic numbers. Normally, this wouldn't impact you in the slightest, but today's sponsor, Masterworks, allows you to invest in art without needing millions. And this is art from legendary names like Picasso, Banksy, Basquiat. Masterworks has already distributed the net proceeds of $45 million worth of art sales to their investors, and they've turned a profit on every exit to date, 13 sales in a row. It's easy to see why over 750,000 people have signed up thus far, or why their offerings have sold out in hours. With their success, demand for Masterworks is growing by the day. But... My subscribers can skip the waitlist and get started today. Just click the link in the description. Okay, so here we go. Thanks for sticking with me so far, but we are ready for number one. So, Philosophy Vibe's number one greatest metaphysical film is... Interstellar. So then, if you are a philosopher looking for the perfect metaphysical film, then you have to watch Interstellar. Truly, this is a sci-fi masterpiece that executes the metaphysical tones in both storytelling and visually in the most fantastic way. This is the film you must watch. Released in 2014, starring Matthew McConaughey and another directed by Christopher Nolan, set in a dystopian future where Earth as a planet is facing serious problems and humanity is struggling with famine and survival. Scientists have discovered a wormhole in outer space and when entered can lead to a new galaxy. The story follows McConaughey's character and his team who have been tasked to travel through this wormhole in search of a new planet that can sustain human life. But during this exploration, their team are met with various perils and struggles as well as uncovering certain mysteries about the universe. This is such a mind-bending, profound movie that keeps you gripped the entire time. McConaughey's exceptional acting combined with Nolan's quality directing resulted in one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time and definitely the greatest metaphysical movie. The main metaphysical themes of this movie are all around the philosophy of time and space, as well as fourth dimensionalism and temporal parts. But it's more than the themes that make this movie amazing, it's the visuals themselves. Such a tough part of metaphysical movies is portraying these complex ideas visually, but Interstellar manages to pull this off in the best possible way, giving us a masterpiece in cinematography, but also a clearer visual understanding of the complex parts of metaphysics and the philosophy of time. A true metaphysical work of art, Interstellar is Philosophy Vibe's number one metaphysical movie of all time. So, there you go, the top 10 metaphysical movies list. I do hope you enjoyed, and let me know your thoughts. Are there certain films you believe should have been on this list? Do you agree or disagree with any of my choices or rankings? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already done so, please check out Philosophy Vibe's philosophical novel, Requisite Release. This is the story of a young man's battle with nihilism and depression. Definitely a fictional book for the deep thinkers out there. It's available on Amazon, the links are below. And another big thank you to our sponsor, Masterworks. Don't forget to check them out and get involved. The links are also below. And finally, if you've enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you all soon.